What is up guys? Neil here, back with a very special Christmas episode of the show. So for this uh, bonus episode, I am going to do a review of Die Hard. Um, most, specific, most specifically because there's, that, there's an ongoing debate still after all these years as to wh- whether or not it is a Christmas movie. So um, I recently gave it a rewatch and figured I'd do a quick review um, to make a case as to why it is a Christmas movie. Um, so it's going to be a quick review and that's about it. I might close it out with a quick uh, runner up for a um, app review and that will be about it for this episode. Um, so to start it off for the case of why Die Hard itself is a Christmas movie, the f- movie starts off with um, John McClane landing in LA, Los Angeles, um, to visit his wife and he shows up at uh, basically the Christmas party for that is thrown by uh, Nakatomi, the um, namesake of where much of the, where basically the entire movie takes place at Nakatomi Plaza. So um, right off the bat, where the movie takes place during a Christmas party, so it's basically ra- right around Christmas. Um, when John, or next up, when John McClane takes out the first uh, bad guy and sends him down the elevator, he I forget the exact message, but he has written "ho ho ho" on the guy's shirt so um if there isn't a santa claus reference there then i don't know what is um next up we have quite literally a visual representation of christmas with a christmas tree at um i think it was outside the building or maybe inside one of the offices i really couldn't tell it was a rather quick shot but since we have a christmas tree then um basically this is a christmas event um we have Next or next up, we have another um, reason to call it a Christmas movie because the FBI agent that shows up to take over the operation uh, once the police realize that there's a hostage situation with terrorists that um, he says Merry Christmas. So um, that is the next point in the um, review. And then next up, when we have the closing shots of the film after McLean saves the hostages and his wife, there's a panoramic or a panning shot over um, Nakatomi Plaza and um, the police hubbub and um, all of the events going on outside the plaza. And we have what basically I'm going to call the symbolism of snow falling over um an event so it's basically all the papers that are falling out of the building um that look like snow falling over the um rescue operation around the police so um there is that so kind of along the lines of a symbol symbolism for a white christmas and then we round out the movie with the limo driver saying merry christmas and he can't wait to see how everybody celebrates new year's so um it's kind of like a capping of the movie we start off the movie with a christmas party we round out the movie with the limo driver saying merry christmas and happy new year so um for me that kind of settles the pseudo debate that was going on while the movie may or may not have been released um at christmas time then it it kind of i mean well i guess the movie wasn't uh, released at Christmas time, so um, it doesn't really technically, based on release dates, make it a Christmas movie uh, for me. Because of all of this stuff going on, it is um, that sort of a movie. So um, that's really all there is for that. Um, and just to round it out, with, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to bring up a quick um, runner-up for my app review of the year. Um, so I was thinking about it, and Disney's Movies Anywhere app makes that the runner up for me because it syncs your various movies across different platforms namely itunes voodoo amazon prime and google play um, or google play movies um the reason it's a runner up for me is because um while it's a good start as far as um being able to do that the only thing it doesn't do is sync movie or television shows across services so um, as soon as it does that, then um, it'll be a complete service and it'll make it easier f- um, to get your content on any platform that you have. And you can more easily look for the better deals, which is kind of what I've been doing with the movies, uh, comparing um, Amazon Prime and Google Play Mu- or Google Play Movies. While you don't really need Disney's movie anywhere app to do that, it does make it a little bit easier. 
Um, so that's all there is for this particular episode. So thanks for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. And I will see you guys in 2018.